What is this all about? Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of South Park. Season 2, episode 1. In the last episode of season 1, um, Cartman's real father was about to be announced, so... Yeah, um, given the comment section, apparently that's not going to happen. <laughs> I accidentally read the comments, but I'm still going to go in and have some fun and enjoy it. Uh, link is down below for the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Also, the link for my podcast, Geordie Media, is down there. It's me and a friend, and we just talk about video games and movies and, and stuff like that. Um, and we're in the same room on camera. It's, it's a good old time. I'll leave the link down below. I'd love it if you'd go and support me over there. Um, so, yeah. Let's just get this now and have some fun. Now, finally, the shocking truth about Cartman's lineage will not be seen tonight so that we can bring you the following special presentation. <laughs> Hold the phone. So we're not even getting anything. It's just like, no, and you'll never find out. Is that what this is? That's some bullshit. But I like it. <laughs> nice, Philip. I'm making a case for our defense. <laughs> All of this. Oh, wow. So is this episode just going to be about these four? And I am fucking sold. Let's go. Nail clippings. A piece of his shirt. A watch with his initials on it. A day planner with the murder scheduled. A haiku <laughs> called Time to Kill Dr. Jeffrey O'Dwyer. <laughs> Dr. O'Dwyer, time to have your head smashed in with my new hammer. Yeah, uh, and somebody else also said that my make looks like a penis. So, um, thanks for that. Now that's all I see. Oh, Philip, now you farted during the closing argument. I have, haven't I, Terrence? <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, the defense is trying to make a mockery of this cult. They think that farts are funny, but they're not. Sustain. Good people of the jury. My client, Terrence, he is no more a murderer than you or me. And farts are funny. I don't care what anyone says. They are. I'm 35 and I still laugh at farts. You're gonna have to repeat that verdict because we had some flatulence issues. I said, we find. We find Terrence not guilty! Did you hear that, Terrence? You're not guilty! Oh, Philip, you've saved me from the gas chamber! So there's another OJ situation then. I'm gonna see to it that you both pay for what you've done. And do you know why? Because you're a dick? <laughs> no, because I hate you. You think farting is so funny. Well, it isn't. Well, Scott really hates us, Philip. Yes, perhaps he's homophobic. But we're not gay, Philip. We're not? Well, let's just <laughs> bolt this up and return home, okay? So fucking used to me. They think that fart jokes are a sophisticated form of comedy, but they're not. Well, what if I were to help you get rid of them once and for all? Who is this? Let's just say that I'm someone who can help you if you help me. Just call me your old pal, Saddam Hussein. What the fudge? Jesus Christ, that was not one person I was expecting to be in this show. Holy balls. Well, it's too bad we didn't find any treasure on the subway, Philip. Oh, hello, Ugly Bob. Hello, Terrence. Hello, Philip. My God, you're looking hideously ugly today, Ugly Bob. Uh I love how the fact, like, they've got names on the house. I mean, I do too. So, I mean, if you drive past and you see the Geordie Nerd, then you you know it's mine. Oh, well, it all began 15 years ago. My God, what a fascinating story, Terrence. Especially the part about Celine Dion. Yes, indeed. But now my little Sally is being held captive in Iran, and I will have to go and find her. Then I will go with you, Terrence. You're such a good friend, Philip. Well, you know what they say. A friend in need is a friend with craft dinner. Averse there, mateys. What the fuck's a craft dinner? Why aren't I eating a craft dinner? Celine Dion's house. I mean, you can tell because of the C and the D. Do you know what I mean? Hello, Ugly Bob. Hi, guys. How's the paper bag working out? People seem to really like it. I even have a date this Friday. Terrific. We need two tickets for Tehran, please. I so that's what I'm missing out on the paper bag. I mean, I do have the T-shirt that says I look better online because you know there's lots of lights on us. When when the lights are off, I'm like an ogre. But you know. <laughs> oh, Philip, how will I ever find my fugitive daughter in this daunting place? We don't speak the language. We are unwelcome strangers, and we have no idea where to begin. Oh, look, there she is. Oh, good. <laughs> Ooh, I'm here, Sally. It's your father, Terence. I now just back on the plane, problem solved. Say, she looks a lot more like Celine Dion than you, Terrence. Ah, oh, now I see the resemblance. Well, enough of our let's get home. 
I mean, it definitely would have been funny. I've said now I smell the resemblance. Or oh, maybe it's not, and I should shut my mouth. Which it's either or, or really. Like, oh, Celine Dion, what have you done? I was going to make us a family again, but now you've slept with Ugly Bob. What do you mean? Why are you calling him Ugly Bob? Because that's his name, you stupid bitch. You told me your name was Handsome Bob. <laughs> Look at him, Celine Dion. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that that is ugly though. To be fair, it's wow. Huh? Oh, that don't worry, guy. You just need a rest. No, I don't need a rest. I want to know what this is all about. Hey, relax, fella. I'm just making it so that Terence and Philip can never come back to Canada again. I just need a couple of things, and then I'm gonna head back to Iran. I what is this all about? We need to know what it's about. Hey, Scott. Guess what? What? <laughs> I hate you more than ever, Tans and Philip. I absolutely abhor you both. What are you doing, Scott? I'm wishing cancer upon you. Cancer? <laughs> That's right. I'm trying to give you cancer with my mind. Ah, stop that. No, not mind cancer. Taking over Canada? Me? Hey, you need a rest, fella. I'm not hiding any bombs. We didn't say anything about bombs. Oh, you didn't? Hey, relax. We're giving you just three years to clear your forces out of Canada. After that, we're going to bomb all of Iran. I'm from Iraq. Iran, Iraq, what's the difference? I mean, one of my friends said this to me once. It's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. And yeah, I mean, that's it's kind of this, isn't it? It's just like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. Oh, look, here's a show. Well, fuck you. It's the final show. God damn, that TV show's a lame. The father of Eric Carmen is indeed <laughs> someone who is Look at those silly the American heads. Is... They look like groundhogs. Is my father? And another new... No! That's some bullshit. Well, we can't just sit here and eat craft dinner and let Canada be overrun by the Tugs. <laughs> <laughs> that part sounded like a ringing phone, Tans. <laughs> it sure did, fella. <laughs> That's actually a ringing, a ringing phone, though, dudes. <laughs> You son of a bitch. I'll get you if it's the last... Oh, wait, I have another call, Scott. Can you hang on? Sure. Oh, that was so smelly. He says hello. God damn it. Oh, wait a second, Scott. Sure. I mean, no. You listen to me. <laughs> if you want to save Canada, you'll meet me at Carl's Craft Dinner Restaurant in half an hour. All I heard was Craft Dinner. Let's go. Maybe the baby will have your face instead of mine. I mean, that's definitely something i would definitely been said to me before. Oh, you've got a lovely personality, but... See that face? Nah, mate. Can you change it? I'm trying, right? I thought all Canadians looked alike. Let me see. Ah! <laughs> well, I'm sorry, guy. You know, I could cure that face of yours. You could? Sure, I just need a favor. There's a Canadian football game tomorrow. The Ottawa Rough Riders against the Vancouver Rough Riders. It's at that game that I will officially turn the Canadian flag over to my Iranian one. What? Why? Hey, don't worry about that. Take a load off. Don't think about it. Look over here. All I need is for Celine Dion to sing our Iranian national anthem at the game to finalize my hostile takeover of Canada. What do you say? Did you I mean, yeah, that's definitely going to secure it. It's Celine Dion singing a song. Here, take this. What is this? It's a bomb. You must strap it to yourselves, go to the game, and sacrifice your lives to take out Saddam's minions. That sounds scary. Well, you must do it for Canada. I mean, that's two birds with one stone for Steve or... Simon or whatever he's called. Forgot his name. It's Scott. And that's going to take us to halftime. Be sure to stick around for the halftime show. Saddam and the Electric Iraqis in a salute to hostile takeovers. <laughs> oh, Christ. Ah. Yay. I mean, I'm not sure that's how it really happened when Saddam bit it. Um, but yeah. Uh, that is so juvenile. Hey, Scott, do you like apples? Of course. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I hate you, Tans and Philip! Oh, Celine Dion, you never finished that national anthem. You're right, Tans. You're right. And it would be best if she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um i was not expecting that uh the fart humor did get obviously less and less funny as i went on but um yeah a weird weird episode that again i never ever thought i'd see um so in canada south park's a show 
even though South Park they live in. I'm not going to think. Why am I even questioning it? Just enjoy the madness, Paul. Yeah, um, it was a fun episode. We're not finding out who Cartman's dad is, are we? Um, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but yeah, I am excited to see where the, the series goes. There's a lot more episodes in this season than there was uh, the last time, but I again, I'm excited. Link is in the description for all, all of those things. Again, thank you as ever for watching. I'll see you all again very soon for more South Park reaction videos.